How are you finding today's uh, event? Very interesting. A lot of uh, relevant topics uh, for the different segments. The industry is going through some changes this next couple of years, and uh, very good to be here. And uh, you know, how excited are you for 2019, 2020? Are you going to see any changes from the previous year that uh, you're worried about, concerned? Overall, we're pretty positive over the next couple of years. Uh, supply side of the equation is pretty limited. Mm -hmm. uh, demand continues to improve, uh, particularly in our segment. So I think uh, 19 and 20 turn out to be well, good years for us. Uh, any regulations that uh, you're keeping your close eye on? Uh, clearly, the regulation of uh, that we're most focused right now is the change in uh, fuel, the IMO 2020 regulation. Um, in our business, uh, we are not responsible for the fuel. We lease our ships out to folks that are responsible for the fuel, and we just got to make sure that that is done in a proper way, and we coordinate well with our charters. Uh, are you changing uh, the, your, the ships that you lease out or in any way for the change? No. Uh, We've stuck to our fleet as a modern fleet, uh, diversified fleet uh, on the container ship space, mainly uh, all post Panamax vessels, modern. So I think overall we'll rank pretty well competitively against other other fleets. And in general, uh, you said you think 2019 is going to be pretty good. Uh, I'm so, do you, sorry, do you think 2019 is going to be a pretty good year? Uh, can you say why a little bit? Well, one of the major issues that we've had for the last decade is an oversupply of ships. Uh, as time has gone by, the the order book is uh, at historical lows. The supply demand uh, and utilization rates are, are creeping up. So with limited uh, new building capacity or new building orders in place uh, and demand can uh, continually sucking up capacity, it's uh, positive overall for, for the charter market, which is what we follow most closely. Mm -hmm.